what's good slate gang it's your girl right slate back with another v uh, reaction video or whatnot we got kiana and king said beefing i guess asia dropped the receipts on joelle and deja got a new boo or whatnot and i guess ray upset about that so we're gonna go ahead and get into it we're gonna react to it whatnot don't forget to like this video man comment down below what else you want to see on the channel and don't forget to subscribe we don't trying to get their music on spotify playlists but let me show you that there is a much better and faster way to grow your have split now people are stating that she may have a new man now the reason that these two are being tied together is because of a post that Lindasia made on new year's now she posted that she received some flowers and in the background you can see a cup and even the guy's pants now it's tied to this guy that is holding the exact same cup on the exact same day wearing the exact same pants now she's also been leaving hearts underneath his photos so i don't know maybe this is the reason behind the altercation that took place yesterday between ray and lindasia but you guys let me know what you guys think about that down in the comment section below now i also reported yesterday that lindasia threw a few shots at kiana after ray asked to do a video with her now someone what? in kiana's comment section did ask the question Question, Kiana, why everybody at you today? Damn. Last night it was Lindasia asked to, to do. What it is. She said, "B." Then on top of that, H, you just DM Kiana talking about let's do a video to make me mad. You're weird, a bit. Yeah, the same bit. Kiana, wait, this isn't added up. The same that spoke on her dead people. It's happening right now. People be quick to try to make people mad, bro. That you'll hang out with a bit that in this you did and all of that. Come Video on, with her. Sad. Now, someone in Kiana's comment section did ask the question, Kiana, why everybody at you today? Last night, it was Lindasia. Today, it's this fool. Now, Kiana responds with, because I'm Kiana J, literally the effing biggest. I don't do nothing to nobody, just minding my business, making my money, trying to give people opportunities, and ish, I don't know, LOL. This person is speaking on the other drama that occurred yesterday between kiana and king sid now kiana and abby are on tour and king sid wasn't too happy about it he states bro imagine going on tour and remaking my videos lmao she gotta chill so kiana responds with you really lame as f be effing for real i've been planning my tour since october drop my texas tour flyer before you drop yours you didn't invent youtube you didn't start the face-to-face -face trend you wildin and need to humble yourself i give props where it's due every time i do a face-to-face -face video tag me next time you want to pop your ish on your story so kiana also says imagine thinking somebody who got their own ish going on copying you imagine thinking you the first youtuber to go on tour sid always come at me when i do face-to-face -face videos but never in life come at anybody else that do them too why me because i'm a female goat of this ish my thing is why he mad if literally everybody do face-to-face Everybody be doing the face to face. Come on now. It's you first of all, it's YouTube. Everybody copy trends. It's not like they she like, oh, I wanna be like King said, do do do. Like, come on now. Everybody do the same trend. That's just like if somebody be like, Okay, I'm gonna do twenty four hours in this hot tub challenge. We're gonna see who's gonna win this money. I'm gonna put oh this in awarded, that in awarded. He act like other people not gonna do that. It's YouTube. People follow trends. That's what the people like to see. You need to calm down. You making it a competition with me and I don't appreciate that. I always give Sid his props whenever I do a face-to-face -face video. I'm at the N words like that. Why you want to come at the female lane? So then Sid responds with, imagine Lil Uzi going on tour and singing Lil Baby songs only and not his. You going on tour, not the problem. The problem is you going with my ideas. Like what happened to being creative? Y'all being lazy. Y'all trying to cheat the system. Then Kiana responds with, whole time me and Abby doing face-to-face -face videos and games they doing on tv lmao that's probably why you mad because we doing ish outside the box try again now kiana does feel that sid is a bit intimidated by her she says i come out to your videos when you ask me to with no questions ask and show you support when i don't kiana did announce their tour first as you can see here kiana 
Shit, if yeah. she announced hers first, why he feeling so bad? Why can't she really talk about that? Kiana posted it six days ago, and Sid posted his four days ago. So these are exclusive DMs. Kiana says, first of all, I don't gotta chill on ish. Me and my team been planning my tour since October. You need to chill on thinking you're the only person that can do certain ish. Humble yourself. Sid responds with, you remaking Smash Your Pass, find your match and truth or dare. Exactly what I did. If it wasn't true, it wouldn't bother you. That's sick. So Kiana responds with, okay, go DM every YouTuber that's doing the same he's that's how i feel are you dm dming other youtubers too because all youtubers doing it bro all of them it's because her is popping other people's be popping too everybody else doing theirs everybody getting their money from it why should it matter where about your channel where about what yours doing bro like dang then he said boxing too everybody went to do it in the boxing and stuff too is he saying the same thing to his friends because his friends doing the same thing like, come on. At first, boxing, now this. Ish. Kiana responds with, ain't ish bother me, but the fact that you stay coming at me like you invented YouTube. Then King Sid responds with, For but real? you doing the worst. You're going on tour like I'm going, copying my exact video ideas. Kiana responds with, that ish lame and weird as F. He says, yeah, the shit you doing, lame as F. She says, I give you your props in every video. Then he states, you copying my whole channel. That's not cool. You copied me since boxing. Kiana responds with, you're lame as F. My channel don't look nothing like yours. My tour been planned since October. This whole situation blew up because Sid made it public, but he's been coming at Kiana. He was even DMing her back in March that she was still in his sauce. You guys let me know what you guys think about this situation down in the comment section below. All I can say about this whole thing is wow. Let's move on to this next topic with Joelle and Asia. Now, if you guys didn't watch the video Sid that I posted on this topic out. yesterday I will link it at the top here but a lot has been going on so Asia also had some words for Lauren after Lauren came in the comment section defending Joelle she says what happened to her not being pregnant now she pregnant she switch up her lives she stay acting like she has some big T there's no T always saying the real truth coming goodbye she tried to attack joelle for getting broken up with she's mad she's a mistress simple now then asia comes back and responds i'm confused she mad that she, she a uh, mistress whatever the crap called but why are you still with him if you know he cheating though i don't get it i feel like females nowadays bro y'all gotta know y'all worth bro because dudes they don't care if you don't care they not gonna care they gonna keep doing this shit to you you feel me like you gotta know your worth for real like this is kind of sad that you even sat there and said that for real i'll be ready to see you in court too and you're mad because he can't be a real husband now then lauren comes back and responds with joelle is an amazing husband so then asia starts dropping her tea she says since you want to be a ride or die so bad defend this lauren now then she posts text threads between her and joelle and even a voice recording of some messages that he left her not too long ago Asia, i love you with that bro i mean listen i've really been battling like some, some mental problems and, and i really like i'm not over a lot to you i love you to death i tell you this all the time i love you to death but the marriage thing drained a lot of me. I'm gonna, I'm gonna tell you the truth now. You know what I'm saying? The hardest thing really is about getting divorced. It's like, it's something that people try to make you stay with. It's something like, this it's hard to explain, bro, but like, he really saying all I love you a lot, bro. I really you do. Never, I'm not gonna lie. Like, and yeah, I wanna be with you so bad. I'm just, I gotta take things slow. This sad. And it slow me to like, I, have, I just have to talk to her and then divorce her. Then I'm gonna be with you. I am gonna be with you, Asia. I wanna be with you. You know what I'm saying? But, you know what I'm saying? But, as far as like, me and her getting together and staying together, I have to talk to her and come to mutual agreement to why I gotta split up with her. Because I, 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 I it's hard. You know what I'm saying? Me telling you straight up, like, I don't wanna be with you no more. 
I lost my goddamn voice. But me telling you that I don't want to talk to you no more is the hardest decision of my life. You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna, I'm gonna tell you how I feel for real. You know, I can, I know I can get over, but it's gonna take me years to get over. You got two of my kids, bro. You know what I'm saying? Two, two, two of my kids, bro. That's the hardest thing I gotta do is knowing I got two kids by somebody I was deeply in love with, and the situation came to be like it came to be like this. You know what I'm saying? That's 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 messed up, bro. You know what I'm saying? I don't mean to say this long, mess, long message, but like uh, my mind was crazy. My mind upped up right now. I most definitely want to be with you, bro. You know what I'm saying? I definitely. Bro, if I was her, I wouldn't be with him neither after that. He with somebody, whole nother person, he's sending stuff to you. Imagine when he get with you. What he going to be saying to people? Or trying to get back with her again. Oh, this and that. You used to be my wife. Stuff like that. Like, people, bro. Like, it's crazy. Nigga might as well just be single. You feel me? And talk to both of them. Or talk to mo multiple people. If that's the situation. Like, come on, nah. He just seemed like the type who never going to be satisfied. Be with you. I got a lot about none of that. Like, my love for you is genuine. I never, like I said, I never counseled that, that room. That I always wanted to make sure you was good, and I should still get you. If this got something to do with apartment, I don't want it to be based off no apartment because I'm gonna feel like you only you with me. Just get the apartment. But what I'm saying is like, my love was genuine. I never tried to snake you and oh start an argument so I don't have to give her a room. Nigga, I wasted so much money on hotels, bro. So I don't want you to think that it's just I gotta move strategically and I gotta get out of this mental spiritual welfare that I'm dealing with. My heart is with you, but I'm still trying to do the right thing with a marriage. And people tell me, save my marriage. And this, this, like, you don't know what you say to me. You don't. Honestly, it's crazy. I don't even want to hear no more of it. And then he talked about people telling him to save his marriage. Do, do, do. Why should it matter what other people think, bro? It's about what you want to do. You feel me? Like, don't try to blame it on, oh, this person want me to do this. This person want me to do that. I don't want to hurt. I don't want to do this. Come on, bro. Be a man, bro. Like, it's, it's crazy, but y'all let me know what y'all thought about the video, man, and comment down below. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to the channel. I'm on the way to 10K, so I'll see y'all in another video.